Hey everybody, in this video we'll be taking a look at a visualization tool that makes Google Earth way more useful for sailors, mariners, and navigators, and pilots. Uh, adding image overlays for the full catalog of the NOAA navigational charts. Now, why would we want to do this? What makes this cool? Well, obviously charts are big and flat and some are very large and Google Earth is able to hold all of them in place and perfectly lined up with the satellite imagery. This lets you change viewpoint perspectives to coincide with real 3D space. So imagine you're studying the Coast Pilot for an entry or an exit to a channel. You want to look at how it looks in real life and this lets you get much closer to that. You can also use the visuals to enhance presentations. You can do still photos, uh, images, video, PowerPoint, study aids. I've even used it for flashcards when I was studying for pilotage on the Great Lakes. It's very handy. And probably best of all, it doesn't cost you anything to set up and it's really fast and easy. So as we add videos to this channel, you're gonna be seeing a lot of chart overlays in Google Earth uh, on a wide variety of topics. One more thing, Google Earth is not a navigational tool. Remember, it's not an Ectus, uh, so don't take this as an endorsement for using it while you're underway. That's not really what it's for, but it is still a great tool. So let's jump right into it and look at a browser and get this set up. So step one, if you don't already have it, you're going to want to download Google Earth. It's pretty easy to find in any browser search. And it comes right up. The world's most detailed globe, that it is. So you're gonna to wanna to click on versions. And once you get to this page, uh, you're gonna want Google Earth Pro for the desktop. Now the Pro isn't actually anything that costs money, it's, it's free. Um, so it's just the version that is gonna work with the KML files and gonna have the most options for adding your own markup and add-ons. So you just want to accept and download and save it where you like. And then you should be able to run the program right from this box once it's ready to go. Okay, once you have Google Earth Pro downloaded and installed on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to search for the NOAA chart catalog and this is the easiest way to do it. You just type in this search string here. This is the file that we're looking for and it's the extension KMZ. So that lets you know that it's Google Earth Pro compatible. Okay, so the first result that comes up is what we want. This will bring you to NOAA's site, internal site for NOAA. And they provide GIS data and services. So this is actually a, a bunch of interesting stuff that they actually provide. Uh, definitely look worth looking into if you have time. What we want is the seamless raster and nautical chart services. And if you scroll down here to the bottom of this window, here are your download file options. And we want the KMZ, because KML files and KMZ files are what are supported by Google Earth. So if you click here on this button, uh, you get the save option. And then you can download the file once it's ready. The gray globe icon lets you know that Google Earth already recognizes it as a Google Earth file. So when you're ready to launch, you can just easily click right on the file itself, double click that, and that should bring up Google Earth. So if you're not familiar with using Google Earth, uh, anything that you open up as far as a new file will go into the temporary places folder here. Uh, we have the RNC catalog, a little description box for you, and it also has a legend in the upper left that gives you the scale ranges for the charts. So the small scale charts being the really big wireframe boxes here that are gray, they're color coded, and then all the way down to the harbor charts, the large scale charts, which are red. Uh, they are located in folders along here on the left, so you can browse through by clicking and expanding some of these subfolders. And if you actually open up one that says data, here are all the individual charts, for example. If we just click on one of these, it'll bring up a data window. So this one's in Alaska, it looks like. 
And if you want to actually add the image overlay into Google Earth Pro, you're just going to click either the collared preview or the colorless preview. Now I prefer colorless. Uh, that takes away the, the boundary on the outside of the chart. And we can take a look at two of them just to see the differences. Okay, so the smaller green chart here, we're going to load with the collared preview. And the larger orange chart here, we're going to add the collarless preview. And so as you can see, it takes a little while for the chart images to fully load. Uh, while they're doing that, you can see over here in your navigation panel, we have two folders for the different previews. So once you're loading images, they become their own separate folders outside of the, the master catalog. So if you want to work with an active file, you can save to my places and that will actually retain this particular chart the next time you load Google Earth Pro. So you don't have to keep on loading from the, the greater catalog. So save to my places and that'll put them up here at the top of your my places folder here so the temporary places these are the things that you've loaded but haven't really saved and collapse this and then we can work directly with our previews here so there's our two charts now that they're loaded uh, let's talk about the transparency so we have two tools here we have transparency that's a slider here that it will affect how see-through the actual chart is and we'll adjust the other one as well. So this is very nice. You can fine tune and modify the chart transparency and be able to see the satellite imagery underneath. And you also have a search tool here. As you can see, I've entered in the chart already that we, we just found. If we want to search for a particular chart that we know of, so anything in the US catalog is up for grabs here, you can punch in uh, 1222. I think this is a Chesapeake Bay chart. So here we have another chart here that's all the way across the country, Chesapeake Bay, and we can load this one as well. So I hope this has been a useful introduction to what you can do or start to do with NOAA chart overlays, and hopefully your imagination will be pretty stimulated here. It's the entire catalog of U.S. charts. So if you're a sailor here in North America, this can come in very handy if you just want to learn more about sailing, piloting, especially in coastal waterways. So uh, stay tuned for more videos and we're going to be adding to this plus a few other extra goodies that you can use with Google Earth in the future. All right. Thanks for watching.